In today's demonstration, we have a little bit of wind, very light wind, but really within minutes, this home caught on fire. Now, in a real wildfire situation, especially a firestorm, uh, there are likely going to be thousands and thousands of embers just raining down on the home itself. And so, in some cases, it's mere minutes. This is why it's so important that we not only harden our homes, but that we take steps to maintain defensible space, including this critical five feet, this ember resistant zone. This latest science shows us how critical that first five feet really is. And this demonstration really conveys that message because the home that has the zero to five feet, has rock and pavers within that five feet and no bark or mulch is still standing where the other one within several minutes, you know, the home was ignited and burned down. To really harden your home and to be, make sure your home is prepared for wildfires, create defensible space. 100 feet around your home, remove any dead or dying vegetation. Rake the leaves up, pick the pine needles off the rooftop. Really pay attention to that first five feet. That's what we're here to talk about today. And that is making sure that any flammable items, even your trash cans, log wood that maybe you store on the side, garbage that you hide on the side of your house, push that off five feet. But anything that's bark, mulch, anything that can catch on fire, including plants, really need to be back off of the five feet around the home. It's so important that all year round residents are prepared. And so even though summer is coming to an end, maintain that defensible space. Get out there and make sure that you're ready for a wildfire. Even though we are in fall, and even though we haven't had the type of fire year we've had in the previous years, we still need California to be vigilant. This is really actually historically the time of year when we experience our largest and most damaging wildfire. So don't let the cooler morning temperatures or the calendar fool you. We are still in fire year.